If Ducati made an electric ADV for India, this is how it would look like. Meet the Ultraviolet X47, the latest beast from the house of Ultraviolet. This is inspired from the radical design of Concept X. मैं जब भी इस बाइक को देखता हूँ तो मुझे Ducati Multistrada की याद आती है प्योर इटालियन डिजाइन बाइक विद मेड इन इंडिया एटीट्यूड टॉकिंग अबाउट द पोजिशनिंग ऑफ दिस बाइक इट सिट्स परफेक्टली बिटवीन अ स्वीट स्पॉट ऑफ नेकेट बाइक एंड एंड ए डी वी इट गेट्स द अल्ट्रा वॉयलेट सिग्नेचर डिजाइन एलिमेंट एंड स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द टॉप यू हैव द वाइजर हेयर यू ऑल्सो गेट द एल ई डी इंडिकेटर्स ऑन बोथ द साइड देन यू हैव द हेड लाइट विच टू मी लुक्स वेरी सिमिलर टू द वन विच इज इन एफ सेवेंटी सेवन एंड यू हैव दिस डी आर एल यू ऑल्सो गेट दिस बीक विच गिव दैट एडवेंचर फील एंड एक्ट टू द प्रीमियम मस्कुलरिटी ऑफ द बाइक एज वेल फ्रॉम द फ्रंट uh moving down you have the 17 inch alloy front and back standard just like the F77 you also get the USD forks at the front and the preload adjustable monoshock at the rear both offering a 170 mm of travel so comfort on bad roads it's ba uh, well taken care of the X47 also features the cutting edge 10 generation wash dual channel ABS with switchable modes paired with three level of traction control for enhanced rider confidence in terms of braking you get the front uh, disc which is 320 mm and is powered by brembo in terms of rear braking performance it is complemented by a 230 mm of disc brake so now talking about the rider's comfort well the seat height is close to 820 mm and for someone uh, let's say uh, uh, for average indian height it's perfect and should not be an issue while riding the bike as well you also get the reverse mode on this bike which helps you parking and parking in tight spaces in terms of weight The 7.1 kilowatt hour battery pack would weigh you around 197 kgs, and the 10.3 kilowatt hour battery pack would be close to 108 kgs, uh, which adds to the perfect planted balanced ride as well. On the handlebar on the left side, first thing you will see are uh, these control button, more like a joystick in your gaming consoles, and you can control the screen using these four buttons. Then you have the indicator, you have the horn here, you also have the hazard light over the top here. and you have the headlight button control on this side moving to the right side you get the kill switch switch on button and the ride mode change button from here itself so coming to the screen this is a 5 inch tft display and if you look at this bezel part it has all the indications uh, like abs light traction indicators and all those things hidden all around on this bezel now moving to the screen you will see the odometer reading here the time is here then you have the uh, watt per kilometer uh, kilometer range here uh you have the battery status here then you have the modes here so this comes with glide combat ballistic mode three modes and you have the incline angle here so right now the bike is little bit inclined towards 2 degree and you have the network uh, thing here which is right now not there then you have the temperature here on this side you also get the ride uh, try your trip details on this side and you have the range so you have different range in all the modes you have uh, 119 in combat mode with 54% of battery then you have 111 with ballistic and you have uh, 143 with glide mode and you have other indications as well like abs and everything on the screen itself the screen looks very clear and one thing i really like is it's not a touch screen so it doesn't hamper your uh, riding experience as well for charging you have uh, two option one is the onboard charger where the charger is inserted right inside the bike and i will show you where the charger is uh, you also get the charging port right here then you have the dc charging uh, fast uh, charging port here and uh, the second option which you have is a boost charger which you can uh, buy with the bike when you are booking the bike as well and even uh, after buying the bike so the boost charger has two port which is uh, this port and this port so it plugs in com comfortably and adds uh, to the utility as well also the x47 comes with the world's most power dense charger on board charger which is air cooled and it's all packed right below the seat and you can see this design element add to the looks as well and talking about the charging time it takes about 4 hours to charge from 20% to 80% with the on board charger and in case you are looking for boost up charger well that would take about 2 hours which is half the time and double the power Uh, which is practical for your long touring and long drives as well in terms of performance 
This bike under the body has the same motor and battery as the F77. You get 7.1 kilowatt hour battery pack and have 10.3 kilowatt hour battery pack. Both are mated to the same motor, which is 30 kilowatt bat motor, and gives your peak output of 40.2 horsepower. Uh, and uh, talking about the torque, you get crazy 610 Nm of rear wheel torque. In terms of top speed, it's logged at 145 km per, per hour and this being a crossover, so that's a perfect speed as well. Um, it can sprint from 0 to 60 in just 2.7 seconds. In terms of safety, this is world's first radar attack EV all adventure bike. And you also get the dash cam module on front and back as well, which is part of the accessory. Then you have the dual channel ABS, you have traction control, you have park assist, you have hill hole assist. So it's packed with feature and here's something truly segment first. The X47 becomes the first Indian bike to come with a radar system, which is mounted right here at the rear, which detects the approaching vehicles and give you a visual warning on the side mirrors, which I'll show you in a short period of time. And on the display also, you get the warning, you get the warning on the side mirrors. And it's a warning only radar system, which doesn't interfere in terms of your braking or throttle, just like the cars. In terms of pricing, the X47 starts at 2.49 X showroom daily and goes up to 4.49 X showroom daily. 4.49 is for the Desert Wing Edition, which uh, is the fifth edition, which comes with all the fully loaded uh, features, accessories and everything. And the, otherwise you have the four variant. So I just took a short spin on this X47. And uh, so this area is packed with traffic. There's a lot of bus, uh, a lot of traffic going on around. So we just took a short spin. And in this spin, I could just make out that uh, the bike is heavy for sure uh, at 208 kgs and the but the balance is perfect and especially while taking a, a tight u-turns it balanced perfectly it did not feel like that uh, kind of issue to me and the reverse mode is perfect it was uh, very easy turning the bike around reversing it into the parking uh, full marks to uh, the reverse mode coming to the braking braking is amazing uh, I could not find any issue with the braking, especially the Brembo's does a great job. Uh, for acceleration, I could not test it with, with this kind of traffic. Uh, maybe we'll have to wait for some time to get this bike full time for, at a proper place, uh, at a proper riding uh, place and a situation as well, conditions as well. Uh, overall, it feels good. Uh, turning radius is also good for the bike of this size. And I think it should make out for a perfect uh, city commute as well. Also adding to this, this comes with the ADAS and uh, so these blind spot monitor and all those things helped a lot while driving around this traffic. It was amazing, uh, much needed feature, safety feature for all kind of bikes in India. So that's the Ultraviolet X47 packed with performance, feature, safety and everything. And it's a perfect package in that price point as well. Now, I'm really impressed with this where the electric Indian motorcycle industry is heading and this is the uh, the pioneer in terms of the tech and uh, how the product should be. Stay tuned to EV5 for more such walk around and reviews and uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Let me know in comments if you think this is India's answer to the multi-strata in the EV world.